What's up sellers and welcome to today's video. Last week I got a question on one of my YouTube videos, actually the, the video that has the most views out of all my videos, and they were asking if it's still relevant. And so today I'm going to go through that and explain why uh, the video is still relevant, why the process is still relevant, and how you can continue throughout 2021 to make money on Amazon simply reselling used books. A few weeks ago, my mom flew out to Virginia where I live from California where I grew up to spend a few weeks on vacation with us. And during her time here, she said, hey, let's get out and source some books for Amazon FBA. Now, you already know I got banned from Amazon because uh, I was drop shipping and that's not allowed per the Amazon terms of service. And so I got the ax when it came to uh, selling on Amazon. However, my mom is still an Amazon FBA seller and so I said, sure, let's go out, let's scan some books. And honestly, it was really nice uh, getting out and just scanning books. And so here's a quick montage of that time. So while we were out, we actually went sourcing two different days. Uh, I was sourcing for shoes to sell on eBay, which is what I do full time. I'm a full time used shoe seller on eBay. Uh, I sell some other things there too, but uh, shoes are the main thing. Well, while we were out, she started scanning books. And then once I picked through all the shoes and got what I needed, I went over to her and I would help her scan through books. And so I kind of got my hands dirty with the work again. And honestly, it was super refreshing to be able to do that. Um, there's nothing like burning through, you know, a couple of bookshelves of books and then finding some, finding some dollars on the shelves. I'm going to take you to this video right here. You can see on my screen, uh, this is how to start selling used books with Amazon FBA. I, this video has quite a bit of views, um, 77,000 currently as of making this, uh, this video. I'm pretty pumped about that. This video is not viral by any means. However, uh, it's cool to see a lot of views on your video whenever you, uh, go through a lot of effort to make videos. Um, it's pretty awesome. So we're going into that video, the comment section I haven't pulled up already right here. Uh, you can see Len Lewandowski said, so I have a question being aware that it is 18 months past this video. Are there still enough people that are buying actual books compared to electronic versions? I'm asking with all due respect, I'm going to jump into FBA with both feet and almost everyone suggests to start with books. It just seems to me that the paper versions of books would be diminishing at a very rapid, and uh, I believe you said rate. Um, I get that sentiment. I totally get the question. And honestly, I appreciate the question because it's something that more people should be asking. It shows that Len is doing his due diligence and looking at, uh, you know, hey, is this even going to be worth my time or are books totally drying up? Well, I'm here to answer that for you. Having gone out and sourced books over the past few weeks, and seeing kind of the numbers that are out there and the potential for them, uh, it is a hearty yes. There's absolutely uh, opportunity. There are absolutely people buying books. Now, you know, the digital versions, the Kindle and all those things, those have risen as well. However, um, I feel like you have to be a really serious reader to go buy an actual Kindle reader or, um, I don't know, for me, I've tried using the Kindle Reader. I've tried using my phone. Uh, it's just not for me. I really prefer to like hold the book in my hand. Uh, I got a, a few bookshelves up here that I'm not. A, I'm not a fantastic reader. I'm a slow reader, but I love to hold the book. Uh, something about being able to like put my phone on airplane mode, set it aside, pull the book out, grab a pen, get the book, read, take notes. Um, I think there's a, there's like a deepness to that that a lot of people still appreciate nowadays. Uh, maybe I'm just old. I don't know. To answer his question, yes, definitely. But I would say the main reason that it's so important to start selling books whenever you go into Amazon FBA is because it is the category that you are the least restricted in. There are still some restrictions. Oftentimes you'll find like the top five books you might be restricted from selling or um, some controversial books you might be restricted from selling. And then oftentimes uh, college textbooks. Really expensive college textbooks, 
you'll be restricted from selling. And the reason for that is those books, because they are so valuable or because they rank so high on the bestsellers list, they are a high target for counterfeiting. There are literally operations overseas that they specialize in counterfeiting books. And so I picked up a few along the way. You flip through them. It just doesn't look right. The, the printing is off. It doesn't look like a real printed book. It looks like something was scanned and then they printed the scanning. It's just shady. So I would say, uh, you know, there are still restrictions whenever you go to sell books. However, you have the least restriction whenever selling books. And then if you can maintain, you know, uh, a longevity in selling books with a good seller rating and you just keep going and, um, and you don't mess up like I did, uh, you will eventually become ungated or unrestricted in many things. Uh, there were some things when I first started selling on Amazon that I was, I was totally locked up. I couldn't sell anything. I couldn't sell toys. I couldn't sell uh, beauty products. I couldn't sell housewares. I couldn't sell anything basically except for books. And then as I went along, I would just get emails. Hey, you're auto ungated for this or unrestricted. Uh, you're auto unrestricted for beauty, you're auto unrestricted for baby products, you're auto unrestricted for toys and this and that. So uh, books, the main reason is because it's a low barrier to entry. Books are cheap, generally speaking. Um, you can get them anywhere from a dollar to five dollars. And depending on how you have your profit trigger set up, there's definitely money to be made. I would say right off the bat that yes, it's absolutely doable. It's absolutely worth getting into for sure. We're going to jump over here really quick. I'll just show you the Amazon bestseller book list uh you just go to amazon.com click bestsellers go to the books on the left hand side and it'll pull this up some of these books you might be restricted from selling simply because they are high target for counterfeiting i think atomic habits has been on the bestsellers list for like 38 weeks or something so it's definitely a staple when it comes to um, the bestsellers list Real quick plug, I actually have this book. I've read it twice. It is absolutely incredible. Uh, James Clear talks about how uh, goals won't do anything for you in life. Just having goals won't do anything. Anyone can have a goal. I have a goal to be a trillionaire. Uh, but it's not the goals. It's the habits that get you there. We don't rise to the level of our desire. We fall to the levels of our habits. And so, you know, if you want to get healthy, it's great to say you want to get healthy. Uh, you want to lose weight or you want to do whatever the thing is that you want to do, saying it is not going to move you up. Going to the gym every day, five days a week, is going to get you to that goal. Uh, it's all about how to build habits. It's incredible. So if you want to get that book, I have it linked down below. Uh, if you want the audio version, uh, you can actually get that for free by signing up with the Audible. You get two free audiobooks within that Audible trial. And then uh, if you decide after the trial that you don't want to keep Audible, you get to keep those two books anyways. Highly suggest Atomic Habits. It will literally change your life. Tiny changes, remarkable results. I think that over the past two years, I have probably 80 to 90% of my progress has come from this book. Uh, it's awesome. Get that book linked below. So I just wanted to clear that up that Amazon is definitely still an option when it comes to book selling, selling used books online. Uh, definitely go that route. If, uh, if you're interested in getting into Amazon FBA. Like I said, I have that video that's a complete walkthrough of everything A to Z, everything from getting set up, going out and sourcing, finding books, uh, prepping them, listing them, shipping them to Amazon, collecting your payment, everything A to Z is absolutely covered. You can click that video in the upper right hand corner right there. I hope you find it helpful. Thank you guys for watching. If this video helped, be sure to leave a like for the YouTube algorithm. Hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. And then as always, I'll see you on the next video.